Hope you had a great day yesterday. Hope you uh, focused on what mattered and uh, not so much on your worries and your anxieties and your fears and everything. Hope you got a better night's sleep. Uh, <laughs> I did get a comment of uh, more puppies and rainbows and sunshine and future readings, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is, even though that wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, the fact of the matter is, it's a warning, sort of a road sign, letting you know that the bridge was out up ahead and you needed a bit of a detour. The good news is, when I, tell, when I give you these uh, readings, nothing is ever really set in stone. It's really up to you. So, in light of that, today... The day of Odin himself, we are doing room casting Wednesday, and my phone is still going off with messages. <laughs> I seem to be pretty popular today, and I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this done. That way you can get on with your day, I can get on with mine. And we're going to see where we are, what course of action we need to take, and of course what the potential outcome is. Of course, we're going to start with who we are today. And we're going to see what's guiding us. So, as I'm always fond of saying, let's start with you. Or let's start with us. What are we like today? We're winning the battles we face, obviously. So, let's talk about this for just a second. What battle are you facing today? Still facing that battle with yourself? Well, um, there is a song out there. And um, the chorus of it is, if you want to be somebody else, if you're tired of fighting battles with yourself, if you want to be somebody else, change your mind. I think that was... Um, that song was featured at the end of uh, one of my favorite movies called uh, Bedazzled, I believe it was, with uh, Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley. Great movie, great comedy. One written by the late, great Harold Ramis. One I recommend. It has some pretty cringe moments, but in every cringe moment there's something else there. Something underneath. You stick with it. It's a really good flick. And that's a, that is a movie really about a man battling his own confidence issues. So, how are we being guided? You know, this one, this one is a little bit about compromise, it's a little bit about making peace, it's a little bit about reconciliation. Sometimes in order to fight the, in order to win the battles with ourselves, we need to reconcile things with ourselves. It could be any number of things. Your own confidence issues, your, uh, your anxieties, your worries, your fears. Some of them may be legitimate. In fact, some of them are legitimate. But the thing is, when you've done all that you can do, and you focused on that, and the battle's yours. I think we can all agree to that. Where you are right now is you're in Hagalars. This is the hail, this is the disruption, this is the change. And right now it's a pretty, pretty bleak little landscape. It can be a bit chaotic can be a bit stressing at times, but there's also a Hagalars card in my Viking Oracle, which depicts a very, very large, very intimidating looking warrior, and as I've said, he only looks threatening and intimidating. What do you need to do? Othala. 
Look to those who came before you, your predecessors, your ancestors, those with experience. They can teach you how to deal with those kinds of issues. And you know, if you show the right attitude, they'll take you by the hand and guide you through it step by step. And the potential outcome, of course, will be the start of a very, very nice little journey. Journeys. We're not looking at destinations today, we're looking at journeys. Because that's the ultimate outcome. You're going to be taking a journey through all the struggle. You're going to be taking a journey through the battle. But in the end, much like the warrior on this horse, it's your banner that's going to be raised. That dawn, that day God's moment shines on you. You know, fighting battles. You know, doing the... Engaging in the struggles, riding the struggle bus, however you want to put it. It all comes down to one thing. Your own resolve. And sometimes having that helping hand from others who have had experience with the same things. If you're kind of going through it, just... Talk to those people who have been there before. I know one thing about those people. They won't hesitate to take you by the hand and guide you through it. Some of them are more than happy to. But never discount the ones that are just willing to kind of give you just what you need. And then you just take their advice and run with it. Believe one thing, that struggle is going to be over before you know it. Let me tell you something, um, looking at this spread right here, I'm reminded of a couple of things. One was a recent title <clears throat> that I used for, for a video I, I put together and sent out, <clears throat> sorry, and it came from a proverb about, well actually not really a proverb, but it, it was a clear illustration of it's better to be the warrior in the garden than the gardener in the war. Because a man of peace is still capable of great violence. But they choose a different path. And I think that's good advice coming from this spread right here today. And I hope it's one you will choose. But today you're not gardening. Today you are taking that journey. But not if you stagnate. Not if you get stuck. And not if you don't make peace with yourself first. And that's really all I have for you today. <laughs> it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, and I hope that you got something out of it. It's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time, but sometimes just that little bit of breaking dawn's all you need. You can weather the storm like you've weathered any other. Just don't give up in the middle of the struggle. Alright, so, <clears throat> just remember I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. Also, join me on High Notes, because I'll be doing a rune of the week. And as always, shine on.
Bravo.